Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live, and I've uh, been seeing a lot of comments going on about the different military drills going on around the country. And even Strange Sounds has put out this article here, massive military movements being reported in multiple states across the U.S., and uh, in fact, I even seen myself, uh, I think it was, was it today or yesterday, where I was seeing uh, different armored personnel carriers, things like that, coming down the road uh, here in, um, uh, I think it was actually in, was it Pensacola, Florida, I believe it was? I was actually, there's two little towns that right here side by side, and I was seeing them over there. And uh, just to kind of give you some idea of what people are showing here, you got one here, this one here. I don't remember if this was Philadelphia or what, but armored personnel carriers, uh, two of those. I don't know exactly what that is behind it there. Um, but U.S. military troops there on the streets conducting military drills. And, you know, a lot of people are very, very concerned. All kind of conspiracy theories are popping up out there uh, as a result. Uh, of these uh, military drills that are going on and uh, let's see there we go this one here is showing tanks on the ground you see a Volkswagen sign there uh, in the uh, background there you're gonna see several other tanks as well not just that one but uh, there's gonna be several tanks there going along the side of the highway and uh, it is certainly though it has un you know rattled some nerves there uh, that's in Idaho. Let's see, the one up here was, uh, where, did, where is that one at there? Uh, I don't even see the actual location of that one there. Maybe I'm overlooking it there. Uh, Philadelphia, I believe, is where that one was there. You had the Ospreys that were landing. Let's see, I think I saw that back over. Yeah, here we go right here. You got the Ospreys. <laughs> I think the Ospreys were out there in California. Uh, that video there showing the Ospreys coming in for a landing. And, you know, and, and like I said, so many people justifiably wondering what's going on. Why all this military equipment? Why, why are we seeing all this happening here in the United States? And uh, here you have their uh, photograph there on Twitter there. CBK News 121 reporting this one here, showing them at a truck stop there. And, uh, and like I said, I even seen it myself. Uh, all right, so what is it? I'll tell you what it is. If you remember, I'd reported back earlier in the year, uh, I want to say it was January, I was telling you about the, um, the uh, oh gosh, what was it? That was the... Um, the emergency broadcast alert system and I've been telling you about how that we are th there is there is a great anticipation of war uh, that could escalate beyond the borders of Europe that actually could come to the United States and according to the AI system uh, if you remember I'd reported about the AI system that the US uses there to determine what we could anticipate in any type of war, invasions, things like that. The AI system was one showing that Germany may actually be get, may get struck uh, by, uh, I think it was November of this year, uh, anywhere from, I think, October to November. And again, that's all probability. None of this is certain. None of it is uh, a guarantee as what's going to happen. But there's also a high probability that we could be hit here in the United States uh, from our northern border because we know Chinese troops are there uh, at the invitation of uh, Justin Trudeau. We know that uh, we have um, the cartel who is also being uh, managed by the Chinese on the southern border. Uh, I shared with you the intel that I had a good while back about um, uh, both Russian and Chinese ships off both coasts of our, of our country there, and uh, how Russia had even put in nuclear devices off the Atlantic coast there. So the big issue was is that these drills are being done 
in order to be better prepared in the event we actually had an invasion in the United States. Logistically, can we pull it off? Uh, you know, can we get the tanks moving? Can we get our own military equipment here to protect our own country in the event of a war here on, uh, on U.S. soil? Uh, so this is the reason why you're seeing that. It's not a clandestine operation, not some kind of strange thing, not some kind of um, uh, getting ready for martial law or anything like that. It is just simply, it is truly, it truly is military drills uh, in the event that this were to happen here in the U.S. Now, I think that's kind of an odd thing too, though, because I also know, as I had shared with you before as, as well, that they were bringing up people from the southern border to Virginia uh, and uh, putting them into programs, training them to be, uh, to be able to overthrow the U.S. government. Uh, military operations that would be done like guerrilla warfare within the country. And, and you see all this happening, and <clears throat> excuse me, with that, you cannot help but wonder, uh, you know, what's, what's going what's gonna to be next? And, uh, and, and, and granted, uh, what's going to be next is, is certainly right around the corner for us there. Uh, in fact, I want to pull up this one article here, if I can find it for you real quick there. Um, uh, because uh, Netanyahu is saying that, uh, uh, that, that, that he is ready uh, to resume his judicial overhaul. And uh, I wanted to see if I can pull that particular article up there. Uh, yeah, here we go right here. It's 14 hours ago. This article here came out on Axios. It says uh, Israel's uh, Netanyahu says he will resume judicial overhaul after talks collapse. Uh, it said Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu announced during a cabinet meeting on Sunday that this week he will uh, unilaterally resume the uh, legalization process of the government's controversial plan to weaken the Supreme Court and other democratic institutions. Uh, why it matters resume the leg uh, legislation process without an agreement with the opposition on the judicial overhaul is expected to give new movement, mom me, new momentum to the anti-government protest and reignite the international uh, internal political tensions. Uh, it will also likely increase tensions between the Biden administration and Netanyahu's far-right government. Following the mass protests and U.S. pressure, Netanyahu in late March suspended the judicial overhaul to allow for negotiations between his coalition and the opposition to take place under the auspice of President Isaac uh, Herzog. Uh, but anyway, you can I'll put the link in there for this article here. Now, the concern that I have when I see this, though, and then I also see the drills going on here in the United States, it lets me know, and I've said this a uh, hundred times over, Israel will end up passing this judicial overhaul. They're going to do it because the thing is they want to rule the world from Israel and it be the head of the new world order. And this is another reason why we see this military drills happening here in the United States, because the plan is, is to bring this country down. Even though we may do drills, that's only going to be to, to save face, so to speak, that, uh, that we are doing something to try to protect the people, but we're just be overran by whatever foreign entities that they have invading the U.S., so a lot of things that are going on, and I just wanted to share that with you because it's definitely going to change um, on the ground without a doubt here, uh, seeing that Israel getting that place. In fact, if you look at the video we did on Israeli News Live, iConnect FX, we go into that from the Colbrin document, how that they, they will get control. They're going to have a short space of time where they do run the world with their laws, their Noahide law system. Uh, and this is why you're going to see this judicial overhaul happen in Israel, because the prophecy is already out there.
it's going to take place. It's going to happen. Uh, as much as I don't want to see it happen, it's going to take place. Uh, and then, of course, you've got these entities, too. That's something we'll be probably speaking about here over on um, our Patreon channel. I think we loaded three videos just yesterday alone over on Patreon. But uh, I've got another one I want to share with you about the Uma Uma and some of the things that was told to me about that, as well as the Vatican and not the Vatican, but the Catholic Church sitting on portals and something that's been happening inside the churches themselves. I'm going to share that over on Patreon. Uh, anyway, uh, keep us in your prayers. Thank you for your support there. Uh, I can definitely realize I got a big sinus issue going on, got a massive headache to go with it. So uh, we certainly appreciate you, love you, and thank you for your support. And uh, also pray for us on the internet because we are really being bombarded. Our internet is being knocked offline on a continual basis all day long today. Uh, and it's kind of really stagnated the ability to be able to share more information. We did a marathon of information yesterday, but I was really wanting to put several more up today and that's being hampered by the fact that we're not getting good internet service anyway god bless you and thank you for listening